What's up, Mike? It's gonna be good. Go on, Paige. Put an ice in her. Probably gonna be running a while. No, but that'd be good. I thought about it. Thought about, what's up, Mark? Thought about malting some popcorn. And then get one of them bags and put it in the dryer. You know what I mean, like they do? You seen them fellers do that? That shit's badass. See you later. See you, mama. But yeah, I'm malting your own corn. I got a lot of shit I gotta do. It's just... It's like if you're making videos, you gotta clean and, and prep and do all this shit just so you can record for a couple of minutes. A lot, and you gotta prepare mentally, like, if you're gonna, like, tell people how to do something, you're gonna... I don't know, I guess I really don't prepare. I just fucking go at it, but... Uh, there's a lot to it uh, making videos it's easier just to do it and get it done um, man I got way too drunk on here the other night hell yeah just use it green A lot of them fellers, they put it in the dryer. What's up, Jack? I'm sorry about that, fellers. I really am. I get way too fucked up sometimes. I was puking. I ended up sitting on the side of my bed. The world was spinning. I was puking. I don't remember half that shit. Old lady talked me into taking her to the dildo store. I barely remember that too. <clears throat> you get so drunk, your mind don't work right. You know what I mean? Sorry about that. Try, I'll try and prevent from doing that again on live. I'm not saying it ain't gonna happen. But that's the ism coming out. No, I ain't puked in a while, man. <laughs> I'm pretty good at not puking, but everything was spinning. It wasn't because of what I drank, it's because I tried laying down and everything was like, woo! <laughs> that must have been another night. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't think I went to the bar that night, but that was probably another night. When you heat up real fast like this, if you got a jet burner, I know it's loud and annoying, but check it out. How the fuck do I switch this? There it is. When you heat up really fast like that, <laughs> you gotta watch that. And when she gets up a little bit over 100, when she gets a little bit over 100, you're going to have to cut that heat down because I'm heating up real fast and hard, you know? Make sure there ain't no corn in there. Because if any gets past you, it will scorch when you heat up like that. When it gets a little bit over 100, you want to back her down. Wait till she gets up 150, back her down a bunch. And then you should start turning liquor quick. So just if you decide to go with a jet burner, you don't want to heat up all fucking day long. 
But keep in mind, whatever you're heating up, you're gonna have to clean the bottom of. It's gonna get soot all over the bottom of it. But once I back this down, it won't be so loud in here. I just like keep an eye on her, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm gonna run this and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, probably do away with the corn. I'll probably save it and use it for a multi use. I got something I call all sorts. I'll show you. Look at this. Two fresh new bags, motherfucker. Fresh. I think my shit kind of was old and crusty, you know? So I've been having some trouble mashing, and I think my yeast went I don't think it went bad. I just think it's not as potent as it was. Um, somebody left the fucking thing wide open before. Look at that. It's three kinds of wine from three kinds of corn, sour mash, all mixed together. Think about calling that the corn, uh, king corn. And then I got something called the corn star I'm making too. It's just a lot to getting it done, you know? I got so much shit ahead of me. Got my ideas, I'm ready to do it, but I don't have the, don't have the setup to be able to do it all at once. Appreciate that, I ain't no legend though. I'm just some fucking briar likes to get drunk a little too much. <laughs> I'm a lush. That's what my mom used to call me. You're a fucking lush. And that was when I was like 12. Because <laughs> I'd always be sneaking shit like, yeah! Uh. Another real important thing when you're running this hot, heating up that quick, so make sure you got ice in your thing. Hell yeah. I'm glad y'all are on here with me. Because if this, this gets hot and it heats up quick and starts making liquor, if you don't have uh, cooling on yet, you wasn't prepping, if you forget about it, it, it it'd be shitty. You should have just steam out of there. Hell yeah. I got a bunch of backyard cleaning. It was either get on here and do this today or clean clean my back porch. And I was like, I'll do that tomorrow. Even though I probably should have did that today because it's probably going to be cold as fuck tomorrow. The day ain't so bad. I even got the door open. I promise this, this loud shit will go away soon. <laughs> Just want to get it rolling real fast. It cuts out two hours of time, dude. At least an hour. But yeah, sometimes two hours to heat up. I don't know, Mark. I don't know. I feel like that would be great, It'd be awesome. As soon as you create a commercial product, people start talking shit. <laughs> I do want some money. <laughs> I'm ready to move up in life. I'm sick of fucking, I, you know, I don't know. Y you know, I, I'm all about money. I need a dog turd for some money, dude. <laughs> fucking might <my> puke. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like, I'd like a commercial product. Why not? That'd be cool as fuck. I am for sale. I'm a whore. But I ain't gonna do, you know, like that shit. Come down here and fucking we don't pay you. <laughs> we'll make you look like shit. And you get to be on TV for 30s. Fuck that. You better pay me. But I'll do anything for the right amount of money. <laughs> Straight up. 
commercial product would be nice. I already know it. You, you know, I'm I'm happy. Hell yeah. Run, 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 son. Run like Forrest Gump, baby. I'm happy though. I take whatever God gives me. And if this is it, so be it. Um, you, you know, there's a good chance if you make moonshine, you've heard my name. And that makes me happy. Like me, love me or hate me, they've said my fucking name. It's came across their lips. <laughs> Every one of them fuckers on that show too. They've said my name. They might fucking be like, hey, that guy's a fucking joke, whatever. They've said my motherfucking name. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. There wasn't nothing special there. I, I feel bad I ain't have nothing really great to send you. Um, everything I've made so far is, that I have right now is pretty basic. Um, on that fucking, the, the, the other one. I'm a conversation piece, son. <laughs> Especially when I did the brew shine and all that shit. But I like all those guys. I just ain't gonna go and goddamn do nothing. They ain't gonna pay me to do it. I know some guys that are that are going. Um, I don't know. I, I think they could pay. I think they should share some of that shit with those guys. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but most of the time you get fucked. Just like those fellers going on that TV show, they don't get a goddamn penny. They might give you, you know, I mean, I I will sell shit. I'll, I'll make a good product. I ain't got a problem doing that. HD form. What is that, brother? Getting distracted. I don't know what the HD form is. I, I don't. I'm not talking shit in any way. I love all those guys. I'm just saying I'm happy. If this is all God has in plan for me, I accept it. Yeah, they do need better attorneys. You're my attorney, Mark. <laughs> you're you're my guy. Yeah, and that's fine. This is TV for me right fucking now. I love you guys. You guys are the shit. That's why I'm here. You know, I'd rather have 20 of you guys watching me than uh, 100,000 other bougie bitches. That's not no mullet. That's not no mullet. Look at that sexy head of hair right there on this fat man. <laughs> it ain't no fucking mullet. That's that Viking cup, baby. Viking. I mean, I ain't got nothing against them all. They're pretty cool. I seen a kid the other day that had one with lines in it. And I was like, that dude's badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are awesome, man. I wouldn't trade you guys for anything. I get you. It's just a, it's just it's a Viking cut. This is a little headbanger haircut from the '90s. Yeah, I just got it freshly cut today. I woke the old lady up. Said, "You gotta cut my hair before I get in the shower." Beach Mountain Brandy, hell yeah. I never made that. That's a big easy thing. We no, we did make one, and then he made another one. Yeah, we made it. I think we made it once. Oh, yeah, Joe Morgan. He's snow guy named Joe Morgan. Here locally. He cut a finger off. Lost a finger cutting trees off. Didn't do it in the saw. 
and did it with a rope. I wonder if he's still alive. He's an old feller back in. Thanks, David. Hell yeah. <laughs> to keep her eye on her. Idahoan. <laughs> How to pimpin'? You to hoein'? <laughs> Hell yeah. Bet you make a lot of vodka out there in Idaho, man. Richmond, Virginia? Love Virginia. I like all this country just about. Not big on New York City. <laughs> it's a good first, it's a first to uh, pop your cherry with, man. Uncle Jesse Simple Sour Mash. They even got a Wikipedia page, dude. You cannot go wrong with that. That's a great recipe too, especially that second run. That sounds good. That sounds good. I've never done sweet potato. Probably because I'm not big on sweet, like eating sweet potatoes. But I bet the shine would be awesome. Dementia care. I'm not far from that. I get super drunk, I get, get it. My dad passed away from that. I bet it's a hard job, man, dealing with that emotionally. I bet that's rough. I think that's probably the only thing worse being in a room with 40 uh, two-year-olds would be dealing with the, a bunch of dementia patients. I mean, weighing on you, like, you know. I, I remember being in that shit with my dad man and that place all those people and a lot of them were violent and they tried to put my old man in there with some violent people and i'm like man you need to move my dad you know what i mean that shit's rough hell yeah i wouldn't either man that shit's out of hand in them places. And they act like there's one place better than another. I don't know if there is, but most of them, them homes, man, everyone's been shit. Everyone. Like, this place is nicer than that one. Like, But there are some that are a little bit better, and the people there are a little better. But... <laughs> yeah, I bet. Hey, man. I ever get put in a fucking home, you need to come visit me. <laughs> if I go out, I'm going out like that. Salt Bush Bill's rum. I ain't never had it. I'd like to try that. I remember getting drunk. <laughs> Damn, son. That's fucked up. Salt Bush Bills rum. I'll have to look that up. Salt Bush Bill. Do you need amylase for fruit? No. Unless it's some real thick shit with lots of lots of uh, pop. I don't think I needed amylase for these bananas the other night. I was just drunker and fuck, wanting to try and thin them out. It definitely didn't work. <laughs> They're thin now. <laughs> they had enough sugar in them. Yeah, you used some pectin. Um, I ordered some some new amylase. I'm gonna try out. And goddamn spam calls, man, calling me. Y'all see me? They 
wait till till this time of day and you're like, oh, let me ch change your car insurance. Just run it and save all your tails. I mean, the liquor's drinkable. So, I mean, the sour mash is better. That's what I'm getting. Uh, I got some liquid high temp shit coming. I got some low temp shit coming. So I got that. I got the, the alpha and the beta. You get the buffer wheel now and then, but it's still working. Hell yeah. Angels yellow label yeast. I'll be a lot more into this once this once I can turn that heat down a little bit, you know what I mean? Find my sweet spot. I got a tickle the undercarriage on her, you know what I mean? Y'all want to see my table I built? Try wheat flour shine. Um, I, I wouldn't use. I, I get those wheat berries, and then I yeah yeah yeah. Cheapest off angel yellow. Hold on, was around forty. They uh, yeah. It, what kind of wheat though? There's different colors. White, white wheat, red wheat. Uh, I've done some some weeded stuff in the past and it, it's excellent uh, I'm gonna do a weeded bourbon somebody's blowing snot rockets out there nasty motherfucker <laughs> I know who it is too that boy's always blowing snot rockets but yeah I, I, I'm gonna do a weeded bourbon I, I used some red wheat not too long ago. Uh, let, me sh let me pull this down or turn this temp, you know, this fire down a little bit. Starting to go. She's getting up there. Well, you just, you gotta have to add sugar to it. I mean, but yeah. Oh shit, she's rolling liquor. I'm gonna turn her down a bunch more. She's a dripping, son. At 150, that means that temp gauge is about to catch up. And she's gonna be rolling out for a minute and then I'm gonna have to back her down even more. Indian corn. I put a gallon of uh, tails in there, so I'm gonna get a bunch of liquor out of this. All right, buddy, you got your phone on you? I love you. Oh yeah, got her rolling. I don't think you really need any. I would just use wheat sugar, cook the wheat, add the sugar. Ain't really any starches in wheat, is there? I, I'm not person to ask that, man. I'm not, I haven't done a whole bunch with wheat. I don't think you need amylase, but if you're just going 100% wheat, if you're putting some corn in there, then you need to cook the shit out of that corn until it gets thick. I mean, it, uh, everybody says they want to do that, but then nobody drinks it. I still got some shit over here, man. Right there. Pew. We 
We're rolling with heads right now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna move on after this. I'm gonna save some of that soured Indian corn. I'll put something else in that bucket. And I never did throw out that. I never did throw out my, my uh, fucking bloody butcher. I didn't get much alcohol out of it, but I didn't use no tails. Pissed me off. I'm going to try and save it. I'm probably going to do that after this is over. Uh, I did get something new. It's pretty cool. Oh, shit. Time to back that down even more. What's up, man? I love Cincy. I uh, grew up going to watch Cincinnati Reds games with my old man. Fuck, man. Get off of there. God damn it. No, I didn't make another batch of cotton candy. Give me just a second. I got to... Oh, shit. Sorry, y'all. I got to get this right. Coming out too hot. Too hot and too fast. But it should be all right. Don't call that heads. We got that much. It's coming out too hot. I had to slow her down. <clears throat> this can be a tails jar. Oh, what I was saying is, uh, I got this new product I'm going to try, see how it works. It's called 5.2, I think, or some shit. Let me find it. Here it is. I'm going to try this out, see what's up with it. Try it out in my, in my buddy butcher. I'll get my pH right on track. Now, I, I do, you know, I have used many a times um, baking soda to bring the pH up, lemon juice to bring the pH down. Uh, I'm going to see what that's all about. It's not expensive. I'm going to give her a go. Let me get some more ice.
me show y'all what you don't want here. Okay. See, she's coming out too hot because I heated up too quick and I didn't back it down fast enough. Uh, I lost track of her. It's okay. Everything's going to be all right. You see this vapor coming out of here? And that's hot. So right now, my condenser, even though it's cold, it ain't cold enough to handle the amount of alcohol and the speed of the rate that it's coming out of here. So I'm back my heat down. I'm gonna back it down even more. So when you do that, you're losing alcohol. You don't wanna lose no alcohol. You want every bit of that shit. You know what I mean? And it happens all the time, especially when you heat up quick. But uh, I'm gonna lose just a little bit at first. When I got her back down, she'll, she'll, she'll be all right in a second. So I'll back her down, slow her down, keep an eye on the ice and she'll be all right. But I still think that's better than waiting fucking two hours to heat up. You know, we heated up in what? 10 minutes? 20 minutes? I'll take it. And sometimes you can do it just right where you back down. I should have backed down at 100, but I was like, man, I'm getting her fucking rolling, you know? I want to get her rolling. So, you know, I got seven, seven good jars out of that last Indian corn run. Hopefully I get more than that out of this one. I'll be happier than a pig and shit. Let me check the comments. I wasn't reading for a minute. <laughs> Marion's dude. Look, man, if you're you from here or you lived here, uh, no, I didn't make another batch of cotton candy, not yet. You, you're, you're going to Marion's, right? Like, man, I had a grandpa who moved out to California. He made him a California girl, you know? And he loved it out there. And he'd, uh, every time he come to visit, there's two places he went to. Marion's Pizza that motherfucking White Castle, <laughs> right? He'd take 50 White Castles back on a plane with him, put them in a cooler, freeze them, and take them back to Cali with him. Fucking, those were his prized possessions. But yeah, Marion's, every time my parents had come to Dayton, because my parents lived out uh, in the country. They, they lived out in the courthouse. Uh, they lived out in Deer Creek, you know what I mean? So they'd come back here every time, you know, to visit us. They'd get Marion's too, like, or, or if one of them didn't come and the other did, they'd be like, yeah, bring me back a Marion's pizza. That's good shit. I ain't had none in a while. I'm about to order one tonight. <laughs> yeah. I can't eat the bread because I'm on a keto, so I'll just eat the toppings off that motherfucker. <laughs> Hoagie's too. Hoagie's pizza. It's the fucking bomb. And I live like... Six streets away from that motherfucker, dude. Let's set y'all down so I can put a dip in. Mm. I'm a dumbass. I'm blocking my drip from myself. Damn, about got a jar. Oh yeah, she's cold now. Yeah, baby, she's right now. Check her out. She's coming there ice cold now. Ice cold. Indian corn sour mash. I love it.
sure is beautiful. I love it, dude. Tylersville? No. Uh, you mean Taylorsville? No, it ain't off Taylorsville. Are you talking about Hoagies or Marion's? Marion's off Dixie. Hoagies is on a road called Gypsy and North Dixie. This town's went to shit, though, man. Used to be booby bars everywhere. They banned them. They got rid of them. There used to be like 20 of them on the Dixie Strip. I can't believe YouTube ain't fucking banned me yet. <laughs> All the crazy shit I've done on live. I get kicked off TikTok real fast. Down here right off 75. Oh, okay. I don't know my way around Cincy very well, but I have been there about, I'd say 40 different times I've been through Cincinnati. And not to mention you gotta drive through there every time you go down south go down to Tennessee so probably more than that growing up I've probably been to I think it was 16 different Reds games me and old man ago I can't even watch sports man I got ADD so bad that, like I want to I'm like yeah go team and then I'm like I'm in space thinking about shit you know my mind don't it's not wired to watch people play games but it was cool it's a cool experience my favorite part is eating soft pretzels and nachos and shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> I've met a lot of Cincinnati Reds ball players. Even the old, old ones, way back in the day when I was a little kid. Dude. Yeah. I can't, I can't watch it. I can root, hey, and I can act like it, but I zone, man. I can't watch a TV show half the time. It's got to be some real fucking crazy shit going on. Just like if it's a good game, it's badass, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, I'll get it, you know, but it's got to be a, you know, I think they should have ball bats with spikes in them and, hel you know, helmets with spikes in them and they should battle. Then I'd be, I wouldn't, I, my mind wouldn't wander, you know. First one. Let me see what. Hell yeah. Scratching the itch, right? That's my kind of people. That's why y'all like me and I like you. If something ain't working, you find a way, right? Fix it. Change it. Modify it. That's, that's all the fun in life. Tinkering with shit. Worst part about this, this whole hobby, is cleaning. You're gonna make a mess, then you're gonna have to clean. And you're gonna make a mess, and you're gonna have to clean. Mess, clean, mess, clean. Coming out 150 proof. 
knew she was hot. Y'all wanna see? Come here, check this out, motherfucker. Oh, what the fuck? Won't flip. Do you see that? That was weird. She won't fucking zoom, will she? Zoom. A hundred and fifty. I done run out of jars. We're going to do this. Big jars today, boys. Oh, shit. Forgot. Forgot that. FYI, I didn't do it, and it didn't happen this time, but always check this motherfucker for fruit flies. <laughs> if you got mashes going, dude, you're going to get them straight up. If you say you don't, you're full of shit, you're going to have some fruit flies flying around your mash. Every once in a while, you're going to get one in a jar of moonshine. You're just going to have to get it out. It fucking happens. Now I'm running too slow. <laughs> Hell yeah. My old man was a big Reds fan. Well, nothing like Pete Rose when I was a kid though. I love Pete Rose. Best all-around ball player, in my opinion, to ever play the game. Best all-around ball player. I got to meet Pete Rose Jr. once. Got a picture of him with his arm around me. Uh, I know he wasn't his dad, but it was still kind of cool. I think I met Buddy Bell, Eric Davis, I've met so many of them, I forget most of them. Um, my dad uh, was real big into baseball cards. And uh, so he throw, he had a baseball card shop when I was a kid. And it kind of sucked because it, it was like a job. It was like a job that don't pay you <laughs> when you're a kid. But, you know, I wouldn't trade it for the world because I got to, you know, look back on that. But I did, we did, my dad would throw, like, a, a show, like, like they have them conventions and shit. He would throw one. They normally didn't make shit off of them, but he had a good time. Got to meet a bunch of famous people. Uh, but it was pretty cool. But that'd be some shit going to a ball game and seeing your principal. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Why do you have to go and do that? You know what I mean? Fuck themselves. And you know, like, the, why are they letting... They haven't let him in the Hall of Fame yet, have they? I mean, I haven't paid attention to it, but for... You know, there's a lot of worse motherfuckers in that Hall of Fame. 
He's definitely one of the greatest ball players, if not the greatest ball player to ever play the motherfucker. Johnny Bench was pretty good too. I bet. <laughs> you guys have heard some of my war stories. Let's hear some of yours. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Pete Rose had to go and gamble. That's a real addiction though, man. That's a real issue. I had some family members that were addicted to gambling bad. Like, gamble their fucking life away. So I don't take it serious. When I play poker, sometimes I lose on purpose. And I'll be like, watch this. And they'll know I ain't got shit. But I have bluffed a guy out of a fucking, a, a fucking full house once. Because I... I bluffed him into thinking I had the better one, and I didn't. He should be in the Hall of Fame. And they know it. It's all politics. It's all political. He rubbed the wrong people the wrong way. Or he rubbed the right people the wrong way, I guess. I don't, I don't know how to say that, but... He pissed off the people in charge of everything. And they're like, nope. Some bitter-ass, hateful old shit. Nope. Nope. Like, regardless of that, dude... When he played, he was the best. I mean, he's right up there with Mickey Mantle and Babe Ruth, Shoeless Joe Jackson, Hank Aaron. Yeah, like, don't... Get, when I gamble, I go in it looking to lose. Like, I'm going to have fun. I'm going to lose $100. It's usually 40 because... <laughs> A hundred bucks is quite a bit of money around here sometimes. So I'm like, I'm going to lose 40. I'll give the old lady 20. I'll take 20. We'll go to the casino over here. We'll play the penny slots. I lose 20 bucks. She loses 20 bucks. We'll go over to the, the cafeteria place right there and buy a pizza or something. Their food usually sucks. And, and you know, we come home. What Where they get me is the beers in there like fucking six bucks. <laughs> it's crazy. Six dollars for a beer. Not to mention you're tipping. And then if you are you got your woman with you, she's not drinking beer because she's not a beer drinker, which sucks. I wish she was. But can't control those things in life. So so then she's drinking drinks that are ten dollars a piece. You're over like every time we get a little drink, it's fucking twenty bucks. So what you do is you get hammered before you go. <laughs> yeah. And then keep a little little flask in your pocket. Sneak you a drink. Um, sounds good, Mr. Distiller. But hell yeah. That's the shit. Fucking. Uh, just go in looking to lose. Sometimes you'll do good. I won 300 bucks one night. And I know that ain't much to some people, but to me, that's a bunch of money. I won $300. I was happier than picking shit. Um, you know, it was on this one machine. It just kept fucking cranking it out every time I'd hit it. And I set a limit in my head, like, all right. And I get down to 140. I'm cutting out. And get down close to 140, hit again. And then I'd set a new goal, like, all right. I get down to, you know, 190, I'm cutting out, and get close, you know, give yourself $10 leeway, you might be able to go back on that 10 bucks, you don't want to go back, then eventually you either win or lose, you had a good time, hell yeah, man, it's a hard topic to talk about, seeing how everybody's censored about it you know i don't know why or how this come about in this clown world we live in but i can't really talk about them on here um and i like them love them think they're necessary think they do a lot more good than they do bad but we live in a clown world man i got a buddy it's got a company called MD Arms. He makes parts for machine guns and shit. Might want to check him out. Uh, he's an awesome dude. Uh, 
Hell yeah. He, he manufactured it. Uh, he actually has got a couple patents. Pretty fucking cool. Uh, he patented... Uh, what's it called? You know how they got uh, bullets that double stack in magazines? Well, he made a way that you could do that with shotgun shells. And he patented that. It's the double stack shotgun magazine. They use his design on the... Uh, 590M Mossberg. I think it's 590M. And then he he made a he originally made a drum for the that holds 20 20 shells. Made a drum for the Saiga 12. But then it's fucking phone man, tricking me to click on shit. Anyways, uh, he made a a drum for the Saiga 12, and he was doing well with it, you know. And then they come in, old Blama came in and he passed a bill that made it to where nobody could bring no more Saigas into the country from Russia. And that fucked him real bad. But then he went back to the drawing board and made some shit. He's a pretty badass dude. He's got a, he's got a channel called MD Arms. Yeah, fucking import ban. Why? It's a fucking shotgun. And the same people that go to ban this shit use all these fucking weapons on their movies when they make them up in Hollywood. Sorry, dude. It's fucking telemarketers, man. I'd like to switch my number and start fresh, but I can't do that. I've had this number for fucking 15 years. Hell yeah, he's, he's cool as fuck, dude. That's my best buddy. Uh, we grew up together. In the back end. No problem, brother. Sport strawberry with strawberry wine. <laughs> Hell yeah. Strawberry wine's the shit. I'm uh, I've been looking into this this uh trying some syrups out. Like, uh, there's this company that makes a lot of syrups, and I've been looking, they make syrup for almost everything, every flavor. I'm about to take that shit and go to flavored town. <laughs> I better heat her up a little bit. Put some more ice in her. Oh, she's running super slow now. I backed her down too much. Let me grab some ice. What's up, Callie? I better get some of that water out of there. I'd like to, in the future, I'd like to get a mini still, a little stove top to play with. It has a little thumper. That'd be cool as shit. Join the stream. Yeah, appreciate it. I'm gonna make a sugar shine. Uh, Cause I need some neutral spirits and I got everything I need. Hell yeah. Always got to have some way to distill. I'm, I'm never going to have to worry about distilling. I, uh, I'm always playing with some copper. Sometimes I go to the scrapyard and I'll get, get this shit. And like, cause they buy copper from people. And when it's like, it looks new, a lot of times it'll be fucking new copper. Hell yeah. Well, I want to use 
I want to make a bunch of stuff, but I don't want to use good corn liquor. You know, I hate it. I'm like, I like, I like corn liquor, so I hate sacrificing it. What's up, Northeast? I don't want to sacrifice my corn liquor making fruity, flavorful drinks and using flavorings. Hell yeah. That's good though, because sometimes I, I got scrap and that means more money in my pocket. I wish gas would go up to $20 a gallon and I'd make more money. I don't know, like back when I had no problem getting calls, I don't know, the 380, 22. My mom used to rock a 22 in her purse. Not that she needed it. She was a fucking crazy motherfucker. She she fight with she could throw hands, dude. She put a fucking knot on your head. I wish I had my own brand. Got a lot of ideas. I just ain't got a lot of extra time and money. And this is a process. So if you do have an idea in, in order to come across, hell yeah. Let's see that. That's good for that. I'm gonna go and uh, play with some electric still soon. And uh, I got one of my TikTok buddies gonna send me some stuff to try out. And it seems like it's pretty cool. Hell yeah. I like playing with primitive shit, blow guns, you know, uh, stuff like that, uh, slingshots. I love that shit, dude. What the fuck is up with this motherfucker? The fucking ice out of the bag. Twist ties got me fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, I like playing with primitive shit. I'm, I'm a fucking nerd. I mean, I've seen some fucking badass air rifles. They even got an air 12 gauge. Died for a minute? Damn, son. You all right? Take care of yourself, buddy. I know I'm the last person that should say that, but we don't want to see you go. If you're gonna do this shit here, I bet, dude. They're rough with you when they have to do. They have to be. Yeah, I like bows. I like all that stuff. Yeah, we'll pray for you, brother. For sure. Get your ass down in there. Be trying to wander. Am I weird that I talk to my still? I talk to all kinds of shit. I'm a weirdo.
keeps wanting to rise up. Oh shit. Damn it, dude. My bad, y'all. This fucking hose keeps trying to spray out. There you go. Probably I'll clip it right there. New jar. What's up, Toby? I got your message, man. My bad. I was in the middle of some shit. I plan on calling you back later. She right, baby. Working. That's a big drop though. Full moon. Sure is. Oh, well, there is one in there. Motherfucker. Rocking half gallons these days. Half gallons. Oh yeah, that's right. I go check on my check on my heathens, my crack babies. In cycle, one of my buckets is stuck. What do you mean? Like it's not fermenting? Always good to give her a couple days. Sometimes, sometimes they just roll slow, man. You know what I mean? What are you doing down there, Chunk? What you got? What is that? You keep it out of your mouth, boy. Shit. Fucking hungry. Hold on a second, Toby. Okay, let me go back and read these. The sponge baths are awesome. Hell yeah. What's up, morning brother? 
got one on 60. I don't know what you mean. Talking about 1.020. You talking about a triple scale hydrometer? Yes, it is. Bloody Butcher, Indian corn, yellow corn, it all tastes different. I mean, it all tastes like corn, but it all has different profiles, man. I'm going to add a bunch of stills to my site today and tomorrow. That's how you start moonshine, buy you a still. Yeah, 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 you can call me later. That's not a problem, bro. Um, sometimes you'll have one run slower than the other. And who knows why. Applejack. Hell yeah, Applejack's a shit. Any type of alcohol is a shit. Any way you make it, making shit at home. It's just, it's just like anything you cook is going to be badass, too. Um, I like making stuff. I like fiddling with stuff. Hell yeah, freeze it for free. Do some Applejack rolling. But if you want to make shine out of a still... You know, ain't nothing like a little starter still. Get you a keg. Get you rolling. It does, you know, you have the boring parts, like waiting. <laughs> then you have the fun parts, like drinking and tasting. And the terrible parts, like cleaning, 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 cleaning. It's work, but it's a work you love, you know what I mean? Not that you love fucking cleaning up messes cleaning out kegs and cleaning out columns and polishing copper because you want it to be shiny. It's worth it in the end. You, you know what I mean? It's always going to be worth it in the end. We'll put this thing on fucking tripod. I'm sick of holding it. Yeah, you're going to get ants. <laughs> Did you guys see me eat one the other night? What's up, frog eye? You got the stickers? I've always wanted to. I never made limoncello yet. Learn. Pad repaired. Hell yeah. I ate an ant the other night. <laughs> Fucking lost my shit after that. You guys ever smash them ants? Oh, you ain't gonna send me nothing, brother. I just wanted you to have some stickers. Did you get the koozie? Hopefully this works. Move this fucking bucket. Get out of my way, motherfucker. adjuster yeah look how how much of a pale ass cracker I am <laughs> I'm a pasty bitch there we go look like a pale ass creeping ass creeper <laughs> the fucking sun hit me this what? Fuck it. Super pale. Oh, 
I'll see my little curio cabinet over there. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> I'll scare you, motherfuckers! Man, I had a weird fucking dream the other night. And I was like, I used to own a funeral home. I turned it into a warehouse. And it was kind of creepy, but I never really had a problem. Like, I never went there and fucking stayed at night. It was dilapidated. It's just like... The crackheads went inside, ripped all the copper out, and there was black mold all through this building. But it was a huge fucking building. And the basement had four garage bays. So I ran my business out of the basement. This is before COVID. COVID came and just killed my business. My business was already doing pretty bad. But COVID fucked it up. But every time I'd start remodeling or building something in there, they'd come and rip shit out. But anyways, the thought of the funeral home, and it even had an embalming room down there. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. Had a lift, a casket lift. And you know, so I just used the garage, the, the bottom floor, and basically didn't use the up, upper floors. Um, but for some reason, I had a dream that I was in this old... Because my, my wife would always be like, let's turn it into a house. Because it could have been a mansion. It was huge. It was huge. And uh, when we got it for nothing, because it had black mold all in it, you know? We got it for like 30 grand. And we got a loan. I didn't fucking... Loan wasn't in my fucking name. But, you know, I paid half of it. I have a partnership. And anyways, that thought always was in my head. And I had a dream that we had this huge fucking mansion. And not that it was a funeral home, but it had, like, memories of that place. And it was crazy. I kind of got, like, trapped in a dream. You ever have that? Sleep, sleep, uh, what do they call that? When you can't wake up and you can't move and you're like, I froze right on the fucking wonky part, didn't I? <laughs> fucking telemarketers, dude. Eat shit, you motherfuckers. But, uh, it, you know, I kind of froze. What do they call Sleep paralysis I was dreaming and I was dreaming like I was going into this bathroom and, and like you know any spooky shit I always get pissed off like I try and fight a ghost I'm like fuck you motherfucker you know what I mean I'm like let's get it bitch so I, you know I'm, I'm brave and I go into this bathroom and the shower curtains closed and, I, and this is like this spooky mansion I, I watch a lot of scary movies here lately um but anyways, uh, I, I even turned the light off and I opened the shower door. Or they won't leave me the fuck alone, dude. I know it ain't business related this fucking time of day. Fucking cocksuckers. But anyways, I'm like, let's go, motherfucker. And then the, like the ghost shit starts happening and I, I fucking feel like I'm almost having a seizure or something. I'm just trying to wake up. Like, I, I don't know. I finally wake up, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was fucking weird, dude. It was a weird fucking dream. Crazy. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, you're ready to fight, and then all of a sudden, you, you, you fucking lag. You, you're fucking... You're buffering in real life. You're like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> Six wild turkeys. Mark, you, uh, want to get your slingshot out. Get you one of them motherfuckers. Gobble, gobble, baby. And stuff his ass. Later, brother. I wish you the best, man. Just my phone. I do everything on my iPhone, dude. Yeah, I wake up punching. You're throwing punches and shit. Like, you motherfucker. But when you're in real life, you're asleep. And you're laying on your, you know, you're laying. So you, your punch ain't shit. But in your dream, you're giving them, you're giving them the Mike Tyson punch out. You wake up and you hit your pillow and it feel like and you're like, damn, that was a bitch punch. <laughs> but in a dream, that motherfucker was coming with a hundred miles per hour behind it, you know? 
But yeah, I've had a few of those. Beating the hell out of the pillow. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> Fucking, uh... I, uh... One time I was having a fucked up dream. My dad had just come to pick me up, take me to lunch. Uh, I was taking a nap, and I woke up. And in my dream, I thought somebody was trying to kill me, so... I raise up, you know, just the upper part of my body, like doing a push up. And I'm looking at him like all crazy as fuck. <laughs> He's looking at me and I'm like, it take me a minute to come out of the sleep, you know? And he was like, you all right? I was like, yeah, man, I was about to attack you. <laughs> it's like, come on, motherfucker, let's go to lunch. Miss that old motherfucker. He was the shit. Miss all my parents. Bob the Hound Jar number tray. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's been funnier. It ain't that funny today. Jar number three. Uh oh. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. My lip? Yeah, it's dip. See where the number three's at. Is it 125? Can live with that. <laughs> I feel like a yard bird now. Just a drop. Who wants a drop? Come here, birdie. <laughs> Nice. Half gallons. Grab another half gallon. Can't find motherfucking wide mouth mason jars anywhere now. Need ice. Let me go get some ice. Hell yeah. I'll be right back. Oh, it's good to have a bucket around so you could dump some of your water out of your cooler. Keep continuously keeping cold water in there.
Cans food. The sweet. Apple butter, among other things. Sent her a set of Deer Pro. I don't know what ear pros are, bro. But I do plan on, uh, I do love apple butter. And I plan on making an apple butter moonshine. Oh, last dip of Copenhagen. <laughs> that cope ain't no joke, bro. Cope ain't no fucking joke, son. The ghost is back. The ghost with the most. Hell yeah, look. Oh, no. The ghost came back. Fucking apple butters and shit. I wish I knew how my grandma used to make hers. That's one recipe I never did end up getting from her. Like she passed away when I was a young man like it's probably she's probably 22 and for for five years of that she was in a fucking nursing home which sucks but what, what can you do um but she was the best cook i ever met in my entire life and everybody could say that about their granny usually she was my great granny my regular granny couldn't cook where the fuck well she made two good things good she can make, my regular granny made two things good. She can make these cookies at Christmas. I don't know what the fuck was in them, but they were great. Copenhagen straight. My cousin does cope straight. Uh, he's a real man. <laughs> I can't fuck with it. Uh, I, I do grizzly wintergreen pouches. Jack, you still on here? Jack does wintergreen long cut, I think. Um. I used to do the long cut. That's how Nana made her apple butter peels and cores. I'll have to see if my sister, because my sister has everything from my granny. And she's got a recipe book. Maybe she's got her recipe. Hell yeah. And that's what that's what most of this shit's about, man. It's it's about remembering your people, you know. Fucking call me, fucking calling me over and over. That's what I'm doing. Copenhagen long cut. I'm holding on to that too. Ragnar. <laughs> I, hey man, that's a badass show, dude. The Ragnar was the shit. I liked the. I didn't like it after he went though. Like after he went, I didn't really like the show. Was still badass, but it's not historically accurate. It's just some made up shit. What's up, Philip? That's that. That's Phil Billy number two. But when you're talking, I'm Phil Billy number two, right? So that's Phil Billy also. They call him Phil Billy also. Yeah, I remember being a kid and my dad being like, fucking Phil Billy. <laughs> like, what are you doing, Phil Billy? Put some fucking shoes on. <laughs> But a lot of people went through that. I do that shit to my kids now. Put some fucking shoes on. Like, and I don't even have shoes. I don't wear shoes. I don't ever wear shoes, but you, you know, when you're, you got kids, you gotta make sure that they, they're gonna wanna play, it's cold out, they, you know, and they're gonna step on something. You gotta protect them. I worry about me and I worry about you. No, don't do as I, do as I say, not as I do. Nanners are still rolling. Come out all right. I didn't get too drunk and fuck them up. 
<laughs> I thought for sure, like, man, I might get too drunk to fuck these up. Yeah, I, I'm, I wear Crocs just about year round. I do have a pair of boots, but I don't wear socks. I do not like socks. I got issues with like something on my feet. I don't like the feeling, freaks me out. <laughs> you, 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 gotta, you gotta live life like that. And I know like when you're a child, you're like, that's not fair. But kids, they base everything on fair. It's like, you're gonna learn motherfucker that nothing in life is fair. <laughs> and the sooner you accept that, the happier you will be. So, yeah, do as I say, not as I do. You're my child. This isn't a democracy. This is a fucking dictatorship. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a loving father. I'm not, but sometimes you got to be, you, you got to handle things up to make sure they grow up to be good people. And I'm very lenient, like, like, dude, so easy to get along with. <laughs> you know, it would be so easy to be. I'm like, man, I wish I had a dad like me. It's <laughs> trumped up charges. Hell yeah. Sometimes you just gotta accept. Like, like my kids, they'll the one time they're not wrong, they want to put up a fight about it, and it's like I'm not arguing. I don't care. I don't care at this point. Told you ten times. On the ninth, you did it nine times, but the tenth time you didn't do it. Now you got some shit to say. Like, you, you know, go to bed. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, and holding grudges. You can't hold a grudge. Like, I guess that's part of my problem with my kids is they hold, like, I'll see my son going to attack my other son. You know, it's a 12-year-old picking on a 5-year-old. He's like, he did this to my stuff. And I'm like, that was two hours ago, bro. Don't excuse what you're doing to him now. You done did something to him and got even. Two hours later, you're making up some shit that happened a week ago. <laughs> yeah, you let that shit go. Don't want a grudge with your family, bro. No way. They always got some arguing because they see other kids do that shit. I don't allow that shit to roll. And I, I, you know, I sound like an asshole when I'm on my kids, but I'm really it's so easy. It's just like, all you have to do is keep your hands and feet to yourself. Keep your mouth to yourself. Have a nice day. So I bitch at them a lot. Um, but they're going to be great ass people, you know? Yeah, there's nobody home. When you got dementia, dude, there's nobody. The lights are fucking off. Like, my dad woke up, and he would sleep all day. It was horrible, man. It was so heartbreaking to see. Sleep all day, his mouth open. And then he'd wake up, and he'd be like, hey. And he'd be halfway normal. But they had him, one, they had him so fucking drugged. And two, like, he'd be dreaming while he's awake. Like, he thought he'd hit the lotto and didn't want to tell nobody. Or no, he hit it at a casino. He was like, it's my dad liked to gamble. He thought he hit a hundred grand or some shit. He was like, oh my God, I've got a hundred grand. You're going to take it from me. And I was like, dad, you ain't got no hundred fucking grand, buddy. He's like, yeah, I did. I hit this machine paid off. And I was like, no, bro. You're dreaming, but you don't want to, you just have to go with it because, uh-uh, you get back from there. Because when you, when you call them on that shit, it's not good. <coughs> this starting way back when I was 12, 32, no, damn, son. It, my old man didn't, my old man didn't last long. He, he didn't have it for very long. Um, he went quick. And I guess with all this COVID shit, I guess it's probably better off. But you don't ever say that when somebody you love, like, rather have them here. Daddy, what, buddy? I'm hungry. Dude, your mom's legit in the house. 
he's sleeping. Still, dude? How much sleep does one person need in life? I don't know. Go get her up. Oh, Go get her up. Tell her, I, me. tell her dad said to make Wyatt some food. I was trying to wake her up making a sound, but then she tried to hit me. <laughs> You're full of shit. Will you make him something to eat? He said you won't make him nothing to eat. You're being mean to him. I did try to hit him. <laughs> he didn't ask me for food. He came in there with a fucking tube this big, got next to my face and screamed it. <laughs> that sounds like a good time. Oh, so I was shit. actually trying to have some fun in there. You're trying to have fun? He yeah. was trying to wake me up with that tube. Why don't you go play play? Get you some sunlight in your life. Oh, it's a nice day. It's probably going to be cold tomorrow and the rest of the week. When's snow going to come? Who knows? Probably soon. We done had some once. Go play on a swing set. Who wants snow? I don't want snow. I could live the rest of my life and never have any snow and I'll be fucking happy. I'm going to get out here. You? I'm ready to move back down south. Yeah, Leave fuck snow, dude, right? Fuck cold weather. I could live right now, like, ain't even gotta wear a coat. Nothing like that. <laughs> dude, it's crazy. He never asked me for anything, but he did come to her earlier with that tube. He thought he screamed in my face. So I grabbed the tube and hit him. Hell yeah. I mean, when you're live, your phone don't last for shit. I'll tell you that. I keep losing viewers. I guess they're probably busy doing stuff today. This is a boring process, but the end result is great. But I am getting uh, electric get up, so I'll be able to walk away for a little bit, you know? Stop. I'm DR. Are you driving? Y'all don't know Toby's a truck driver. He drives a big rig. Hell yeah. Get the motor running. Hit out on the highway. Am I singing it right? Turn 40 today. Just trying to enjoy the day and listen to you. Happy birthday, Ron. <laughs> Happy birthday, man. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> All right, dude. You go out of my garage. Get out. You're singing happy birthday. Yeah. Oh. It's our time. Oh yeah. Looks like a jar full of magic. <laughs> He'd like it for about five minutes. <laughs> Didn't he have you tied up? Shove an apple in your mouth like like damn wild Indian. <laughs> He's crazy. Mm. Oh, that's so sweet. So sweet. Sweet liquor. Get off the ground. Oh shit, Joe. One twenty. 
120 fellers. Hey man, sometimes you gotta quit for a while. Sometimes you gotta quit forever. I had to take a couple months break once. Care for my folks. Make mistakes with meds. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's my thing. It's like I got one pill that I take, right? One pill. And I have such bad memory. Like my short-term memory is fucked. Like, legit, I think I think there's some wiring in my brain that went wrong. When I was a kid, I was a little kid, I had real bad seizures. And then as an adult, I, I you know, and I never looked at it until somebody pointed pointed it out, but I went through some traumatic shit a couple times in my life. And uh, I think I got PTSD, and I never, I never really even considered that. Like, I'm fine, you know? I could be around the things and nothing triggers me. You know, and I've had anxiety quite a bit. Unnecessary fear. I think it was lack of exercise. But my short-term memory is shot. And it might be from PTSD or something like that. I don't know. But I wake up and sometimes I'll go to take my pill and I'll be like, and I don't want to take my pill twice. I take my pill twice, it fuck you up. You, can, you know? Because it's a very specific pill for something. And uh, it's for AFib. Sometimes I'll be like, uh, did I already take it? And I can't remember. And because you do, you take it every day. And I'm like, am I remembering yesterday? Did I take it? Because I'll do things in daily and I won't remember doing them because uh, my short term's fucked up. So because of that, I'll be like, maybe I did. I don't think I did, but maybe I did. And because of that, I won't take my pill that day. So fucking memory, man. Need to start doing some uh, Sudoku pos puzzles and shit again. That shit, I guess, is supposed to help improve that. But I'm sure I'm headed for some Alzheimer's or dementia or something later on in life. It sucks, but... That shit's usually genetic. I think a lot... I think a lot of what my old man had was caused from aspartame. Because he consumed so much aspartame for over 30 years. Like, this dude never drank water. He drank Diet Pepsi. He'd wake up, Diet Pepsi. He drank, you know, the bottles, like the tall bottles that you buy, six packs of, the tall ones. He'd drink six to 12 of those a day. Yeah. Let me get some of this water out of here. Give me a second, y'all. I gotta get some water out of this cooler. like having a water fountain around here. Makes you want to piss all the time. Upper or lower? Did that work? Ow, hurt my back. Fuck you, dude. Damn. Now I need a fucking back rub. Chiropractor. Phil Billy Chiropractor specialty. Come on by. I'll break your fucking spine with an atomic elbow. <laughs> Shit. One, two, three, four. We got four so far, right? Yeah. Close to a gallon. I guess that's a half gallon mark. They leave the leeway in these jars. I'm filling them plumb fucking up. Oh, now that's a gallon. <laughs> Almost a gallon.
Hopefully I get a bunch. Oh, when the tails start, I'm gonna start pumping it out. I'm gonna pump that heat up, I don't give a fuck. Get that shit going. What y'all wanna talk about? <laughs> around the corner from you or around the corner from me? Cause if there's one around here, let me know. I'm not big on a handy though. I want a BJ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the filthiest motherfucker on the planet. I'll tell you that. I'm down for a little uh -ja 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 -ja. <laughs> You know one around here? I'm just kidding. love this still. I'll tell you that. I do love this still. I like it better with electric, but don't get me wrong. Ain't nothing like fire. But here's the deal. Like, you just, you got to watch it the entire day. You run electric, walk away for fucking half an hour. Come back. Oh, shit. I might even put a camera out here. <laughs> you know, have my phone where I could watch it if I have to come, you know, change something out. But uh, a buddy, Toxic Water, uh, he said he's going to send me an electric unit and we're going to try it out. And he thought up of something that's pretty sweet. And it, it, I'll show you guys. I don't want to give away the secret yet, you know, because I think he's still doing, you know, designing some of them. Uh, he's got something badass he showed me. He said he's going to send me one. He's a cool ass dude. I'm going to turn any, any steel, any keg into electric with a drop in unit. It's fucking awesome. To say he's a really smart dude. Time for some ice. I'll probably better get more than that.
my bag. Call that a gallon. Indian corn, Indian corn. I think that's a good, good deal, you know? Run every kind of corn you can. See what you like the most. And then eventually make the best bourbon in the world. You know, then run a couple different kinds of wheat, see what flavor profiles they have, and then make the best liquor in the entire fucking world. And that's my goal. And I don't give a shit about nothing else right now. I mean, I'm gonna do stuff in between, you know, do more than one mash at a time, but I'm moving on to some sour mash bloody butcher after this. Then I'll do the Argentine orange, and then I got some yellow heirloom. And then I'll probably get some of that Jimmy Jimmy red corn, which has probably got the same flavor as a bloody butcher because they're they're fucking brothers. And Jimmy red corn was just changed. To uh, what's up, gadgets? The Jimmy Red Corn is, is Bloody Butcher that they they changed it to where it has more starches, so you get more sugar out of it. So they probably have close to the same flavor, but I'm gonna try them both. And there's a, a couple others. I'll probably get some Crystal Jim or whatever it's called. That fucking Jim Corn. That shit is pretty. Oh, it's so beautiful. Uh, but I'm going to make a weeded bourbon before long. And, you know, I'm going to get little samples here and there. And it'd be cool to have some people from some distilleries try them. And, hey, man, uh, you, you want to make a run with old Phil Billy? <laughs> Put some shit out there on the market for people to try? That's really good. You could use, listen... And I make videos, a lot of times I think of people that that are kind of like me and they want shit to last for a long time. You can use a liquid coffee creamer. It's fine. It ain't going to last. It ain't going to last long enough to matter. Just make sure you keep it refrigerated. That's all. Um, but it's excellent. I like the peach better than anything. The peach cobbler that I did. I think that's one of my favorite mixed moonshine drinks that I've made. Hell yeah. I'm just saying if you wanted to, whatever whatever you want to do, it works either way. Uh, oh shit. Bam. I'm fucking shit up over here. Gotta get my phone charger. My shit's about to die again. It died that one day. Um... Shit just plumb. It was plugged in, but my charger was broke. Somebody broke my shit.
It's not even plugged in. What the fuck? Goofy ass dude. It is good. It's a good shine. It's a good drink. It went quicker than anything. Orange cream sickle and the peach cobbler went so fast. I barely got to enjoy any. People tore that shit up. Out of my motherfucking pocket. <laughs> hey, hey, you ain't you ain't cool unless you got cheese in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what kind of cheese is this? Bel Belgioso. <laughs> I sound like fucking what's Belgioso. Hey, if you're Italian. I'm allowed to do that. My grandma was Italian, so fuck you. <laughs> Baggio, so. Seven grams of protein. Is that the kind of cheese? I think it's Parmesan. Head cheese, hell yeah. Smothered and covered with tube steak. Hey, that's fucking parm. Why don't you get to say parm? Fucking parmesan, bitch. Farmer John. <laughs> bobbity boobity. <laughs> bobbity boobity boobity bobbity bobbity boobity. I'm part Italian. I can do it. Don't judge me. Fuck you. <laughs> I grew up eating fucking spaghetti, entire life. And my friends loved it because my dad could cook like a motherfucker. And I hated it. No, I don't, but I, we ate it constantly, man. Rigatoni, fucking. Hell yeah, Toby, you look a little Italian. But like this chick would even like Offer my dad some booty if he'd make her some rigatoni because it was so fucking good. But when you eat it every day, all right, man, I'm sick of that shit. But the holidays were great because they made the good shit. Hell yeah, perfecto italiano. Bafanculo. Oh, benzio di figa. Not you, magasa. I'm not a cuss. My grandpa was a hillbilly and my grandma was Italian. Grandma come from Tennessee. Grandma come from Italy. <laughs> oh yeah, it does sound a lot like that. <laughs> Some moots. <laughs> These ones are mozzarella. We miss the food the most. 
That's why you remember the recipes. That's why I originally started YouTubing. Because when I'm gone, these spoiled ass kids of mine are going to miss my food. They're going to miss me. And they're going to be like, because memories, memories carry over from flavor, smells, five senses. You can hear a noise and have a memory of something. You can smell a smell and you'll always remember that smell from 30 years ago. Um, taste, all that shit. And, you know, moonshine, same way. You know, if I didn't have this Indian corn for 20 years, somebody gave me some, I'd be like, that's fucking Indian. I love that shit. But, you know, biscuits and gravy, wedding soup, <laughs> I'm making another sandwich. I know people have been wanting them. I'm making one in the next couple days. Hopefully, I got all these videos that are halfway done, trying to finish up. And when you get to that point, you're stuck for like a week or two. But I am going to smoke some bologna. I got a slab of bologna. I'm going to make, make some bologna sandwiches. They're going to be badass. I'll make a video about it. And it's gotten a lot harder for me because I'm making videos for YouTube and TikTok now. So you got to make the same video two times. One, you know, this way, one vertical. And there's a lot, there's a lot to do in it that way. So you have to do each thing twice. It makes twice as much shit to do. Uh, but I am going to make some badass sandwich ideas. Got a lot in here. You know, turkey day's coming up. So there's the turkey day sandwich. I don't know what to call it yet. Um, something fucking offensive or crazy. <laughs> uh, so, so, you know, there's going to be a sandwich that has turkey and fucking cranberry sauce and gravy and stuffing all on that motherfucker. Everybody's done one. I'm going to do one too. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what kind of bread to use. Maybe take a bunch of yeast rolls because those fucking yeast rolls are the shit. That's my favorite thing about Thanksgiving. Take a bunch of yeast rolls and turn them into like a big Sammy and then layer it, all the stuff on it and gravy on top of that motherfucker. <clears throat> take it easy too, brother. Be good. I'm all about some good food. Let's see. Shit, it's creeping up on us, ain't it? It won't be long. I better go buy me a turkey. I was hoping my buddy John would give me a damn wild turkey this year. I'd like to eat some wild turkey. Hell yeah, it is. It's, it's the greatest. It's the greatest food group of them all. Gravy. And see, the people in other countries, they don't, they don't understand gravy here they're like that's a bechamel fuck you and you're like no baby we call it gravy <laughs> it's god's gift to to america was gravy she runs slow i'm about to speed her up i need a dip wash my cheese down with a little a little grizzly. Oh, she coming out. Cornmeal gravy. I could you know what? I've I've never had gravy that was horrible too many times. Make your own bread. There you go. <laughs> so my dad used to call me. Like you little dago. And my friends would always call me a wop. So I always had uh, Pazelli makers and shit in my house. They'd be like, what the fuck is this? And I'd be like, it's a Pazelli maker. And they'd be like, what the fuck's a Pazelli maker? There's this place here called Mama De Salvo's, man. They've been around since before I was born. Like, they move locations, but they have the best food in the entire world. 
restaurant. And it ain't even a restaurant. It's a deli. But you go in there and they got all this other, all this food. It's like a restaurant, but it's a damn deli. It's a little Italian dude. Make you anything you want. And it's the best food in the world. I mean, sometimes if you want something great, you have to call in advance and order it. Because they sell out of certain things always. You'll never just go in and get something like you got something called a salami roll. You go in there and you're not going to see a salami roll. They're sold out immediately. But if you special order it and you put your name on it, you're like, hey, I want a whole fucking salami roll. And a whole salami roll is this big, by the way. It'll feed like five, six people. Or just one person a few times. <laughs> I bought one once. They hit that motherfucker like, yeah. Every day for a week, I got me a piece of salami roll. It was amazing. Uh, they used to have something back in the day called Panzerati. And I believe that's what they called it. It was like pizza, but it was, it was like a pie. It was like legit, like a cake, <laughs> but it was pizza. And it had sourdough bread on top and bottom. Inside, you have big hunks of imported mozzarella, fucking big hunks of salami and pepperoni, mushrooms. When I was a kid, I'd get one. They ain't had none since I was a kid. But I'd get one every time they had it when they went and sold out. They've gotten more and more popular to where you can't get things like that in there. Um, but shit, man. And, and look, I'm, I'm part German. My mom was German. Uh, so I love German food, too. But legit, the best Reuben. And I've had a Reuben from all over this fucking state all over other states and I ain't lived everywhere I've had a lot of Rubens because I love them the best motherfucking Ruben I ever had was from an Italian joint legit like the pastrami or not the pastrami but the, the fucking uh, corned beef it was almost spreadable it was so fucking tender like so thinly sliced it's crazy y'all got me talking about food you got a fat kid talking about food over here Y'all ever come around here, I'll send you in the right direction. I know all the good eats around this city. There's some shit I miss about, about down south. And there's only a couple places I miss. I didn't live in Michigan long. I lived there for about a year, but... They had good mushrooms up there, man. They didn't fuck around when it come to mushrooms. And they had them everywhere. Like, they sold them at gas stations, fried mushrooms. They aren't like the button, the shitty button ones. They were a little black, fucking, I don't know what they were. Some sort of portobello, maybe. They were good. I gotta switch this out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel like the Kool-Aid man every time I get a jar. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna break through some drywall, scare some fucking kids. Thank you. You want to see it? You want to see the whole room? It's kind of messy right now. So I do a lot of work out here. Still under construction, you know what I mean?
need to clean my keg rater up. I think somebody spilt something on it. I got a keg in there right now. This wall I just finished not too long ago. And uh, so there's nothing really on it yet. Well, there's my desk and there's my work table. So you could tell there's covered in shit. It's still under, I'm building a bar right here where I stand. I'll give you a call, Toby, after a bit. Just a little bit. Making mead. Mead's good shit, brother. Mead's good stuff. I think my favorite's Vikings blood. Or is that what they call it? Vikings blood? Something blood. It's the one with cherries. Yeah, Vikings blood. That's my favorite mead. I really love it. I've always wanted to do a blueberry and haven't done one yet. Need to do it. I just waiting to get a deal on some blueberries or find some. Go somewhere and pick some and get a deal, you know. Blueberry mead, could you imagine? Blueberry and honey. Those things are great. It's good stuff. I mean it's really easy to make, man. I use BM four by four yeast. Use honey, I think two to three pounds per gallon of water. Do a five gallon batch you'll end up with quite a few bottles man and they go quick though especially if you're a big drinker and i'm a big drinker Oh, this is waiting probably gonna hit tail soon I got uh, probably end up with a gallon and a half out of her I'm gonna get a lot of tails though you know what I mean a lot um, but you know some people say tails you put in and it's tails it's tails you get back but you fortify it braces that liquor straight up. Like, I really like it. It's how I, I feel like shining that way is it's, it's perfect. And look at me. If I can make fucking moonshine, you can too. <laughs> I think that's why people like me. They're like, man, if he can fucking do it, I can do it. No, I don't sell up. Uh, sell anything i just just an alcoholic <laughs> hi my name's phil billy and i'm an alcoholic you guys are supposed to say hi now hi no i don't i don't sell it i'm not legit um some dirty rotten fucking briar he likes to get drunk i'm a lush it's good times though, man. And it's fun to do. It's a great hobby. Especially when something turns out good and you drink it and, and you have somebody else drink it and they're like, hmm, that's fucking awesome. That's shit. It's like being a chef, but for alcoholics. <laughs> oh, fuck. Been on here for 130 minutes. <laughs> so like legit, I started this when I started this live. So that tells you how long it takes to run 10 gallon mash with a rocket a jet, jet burner. Um, I probably got another, I'm gonna crank it up though, because I'm running fucking tails. 
and I'll get that shit rolling out quick. Quicker than it is now. I got trickling now. I think after this jar, I'm gonna call it tails because it's starting to get proofed down. I mean, you'll probably still get some clean, clear liquor, but. I think everybody's standards is weight on everybody else. You, you know, so you always got them in the back, like meh, 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 meh. To me, good clear is good clear though. Sometimes if you need a, if you need a jar, good clear is good clear. So you'll probably start clouding at about 80, 70. We're a hundred right now. That first couple of jars come out faster than fuck because I heat it up quick. It ain't always this fast, but she dropped quick. I got. I'm working on a gallon and a half, so that is pretty quick. So, I mean, so far, two hours. We're two hours in, and we have we about went through hearts. I'll check it again just to double check. Maybe I didn't read that right, but that looked like 100 proof. Um, I'll check this one. And when I first started rolling, she was rumbling. <laughs> she was rumbling. I probably did lose a little bit to all that steam that came out of there, you know? You'll have that from time to time. But shit, man, if I get these tails done within an hour, I'll fucking do something else today, too. <laughs> Not running, like, might do some mash. Monster mash, baby. Somebody tell me a joke. Tell me a good one. Tell me something super fucked up that's funny. Here. Let me take you down a notch. Fucking demise. Tell me I'm fucking beautiful. <laughs> or retarded. I'll take either or. Oh, I hope that didn't break. Yeah, but here lately I've been doing a lot of corn. When I run corn, I just want a straight arm. I am going to use my bubble plate for my sugar shine because it's going to be flavorless regardless. Might as well get high proof. I'll, uh, I use the bubble plate for the sugar shine. I ain't made many videos with it, have I? need to it's more of a vodka thing you know you want something flavorless run it through a bubble plate so i don't understand a lot of these guys run on bubble plate all day every day and then they they're like try this and it's like this tastes like alcohol <laughs> tastes like high proof alcohol i'm not judging or nothing i'm sure you, you know a lot of times it's good but I feel like it takes things away from what I want. Like, I want to keep that shit. I have a different palate than other people. I got a motherfucking Philbilly palate. I want to taste the fucking corn that you put in your moonshine. Can you make it sweet? Do you make it good? Can you make good moonshine on one fucking distillation? I get that there's other things. There's amping it up, but this is what I'm into right now. Like, this is... It's the phase I'm in right now, and I'm just going through every type of corn that I can get my hands on, because I want to perfect moonshine. All these places make moonshine and sell it like Old Smoky and fucking uh, all these companies, right? They're all like, hey, try this butter pecan. Yeah, that's good. It's delicious. 
What about your corn shine? What about your corn liquor? Who has the best corn liquor? Corn liquor. Who has the best? I want to drink it. I want to try it. And I don't think if you have a great corn liquor, yeah, they do remove a lot of flavor. If you don't have a great corn liquor, then you can't go on to other things. I mean, you could do other things in between, but you know, you can't go and make a bunch of shit and be like, hey, check out my fucking peppermint schnapps moonshine. <laughs> it's like, what about your corn liquor? Is it great? I want to try it. What's the base for this? I don't think I've ever had theirs regular or, or big companies, but you, you know, I don't know I have. And it's always don't taste like corn. <laughs> they, they leave it behind. That three X's is triple distillation. X, X, X. I get it. Drunk, drunk, drunker. Um, but before you do that, can you get a good base with one one, one arm? I, I don't like eggnog, so I haven't. Um, I haven't done that. I, to, I, it's not the taste. That, I probably do like eggnog. I haven't tried it in so many years. But when I was a kid, I was told it was made using eggs and not cooked eggs to me as a child. It's, it's like a thing in my head, like... I ain't fucking doing that. No way. That's gross. <laughs> and I'd even drink it. And as a kid, you think sugar and sweetness would get a motherfucker over that. Like for years, I couldn't eat brownies that were gooey in the middle. Like they're not done. No way. They're not done. <laughs> Cause it was just the mind. But now I cook them that way on purpose. I'm like, yeah, give me that gooey shit. Biscuits too. Like if my biscuits were fucking gooey in the middle, fuck off. Put them back in the oven. <laughs> Now I'm like, I mean, there's a certain amount of goodness with a biscuit. But just a little bit is okay. Uh, shit, I better find a jar. Jar, jar, jar. Shit, I'm out of jars. But yeah, I'll give eggnog another try. I might, might end up enjoying it. Wife buys it all the time. She likes shit. My mom used to drink it. My mom always drank Kahlua. She loved fucking Kahlua. All the time growing up, I'd be like, let me try that. Sweet corn, hell yeah. And I'd try it and I'd be like, Ugh. there's something about coffee I just have never liked. I've never fucking liked coffee my entire life. I always meet people and they're like, oh, you're fucking stupid, come on, man. I even dated this chick once um, up, in, up in Michigan. Uh, I dated this chick. She she didn't believe it. She was like, you just ain't had good coffee. I was like, motherfucker. I've tried it a million times throughout my entire life. I don't fucking like it. So she, we went on this date to this coffee shop. This fucking hipster fucking joint up fucking Michigan somewhere. And uh, she is a little rich girl. <laughs> she come from some money. Uh, she don't know what it's like to, 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 I don't know. Either way, she's cool people though. Uh, so, she takes me here and this fucking barista or whatever you call it, he's like, oh, you like coffee. You just haven't had the one you like yet. And so he gives me this, and dude, by the time I left her, my ears were laid back like a fucking coonhound. I was ready to hunt. <laughs> but the whole time, he's like, try this. I'd try it, and he'd be like, that one's caramel. And I'd be like, I like the caramel, but it still tastes like assholes. <laughs> like, I get, you know, good, and then asshole. Good, and then asshole. 
if I try this one, it's smoking. And I'm like, eh, eh. and I tried all this shit. And my eyes are open like this. Look like fuck a maniac. And uh, he's, he's like, we went through like 10 of them, dude. And he's like, you're right. You just don't like coffee. I was like, can I get a tea? <laughs> like it was his mission to get me to, to change my mind. Like, I, I guess that you do that. It's cool when you can change somebody's mind about something because maybe they're, you know, maybe they just ain't had it a certain way. Just like I'll meet a motherfucker who don't like beans. Like, I don't like beans. Soup beans. I'm like, bitch, you do like soup beans. You just ain't had them cooked right. A bunch of fucking tards making them for you. So I'll make some fucking sweet ass cornbread and I'll chop up some onions. I'll take some of that cornbread and I'll put them beans and I'll sweeten it up. Take them onions, crunchy onions. I like them crunchy. Like you got some cooked in there, but you put some crunchy ones in there too. Stir that all up till it starts to get a little thick, but not too thick. Give them a bite of that. Give them another piece of buttered cornbread. Butter all over that motherfucker. If you don't like that, then fuck you. <laughs> That's the shit. Fucking soup beans, dude. Can't not like soup beans. Big Easy don't like soup beans. But that's because he was forced to eat them every day for a month when he was a child. And the good days were the days we got soup beans when I was a kid. Uh, soup, uh, a big easy don't like chili neither because same thing. He had a crock pot cooking ass stepdad. <laughs> but I get it if it's the circumstances under that. But if you just had them a few times over the years, probably didn't have them right. Guys, does somebody make them right for you? Like we go to a place called uh, Carriage Hill Farm and they'd have this, it was like a bunch of, it was almost Amish. It was like old timey ass place. No old timey ass, you know, stuff. They'd be churning butter. <laughs> yeah, they'd be churning that butter, baby. They'd have homemade bread. But once a year they had something called a, uh, I forget what it's called. But they made it, they took a big witch's cauldron they made soup beans, they had cornbread, and you go and you pay like a quarter. They used to have wood nickels. You'd buy wood nickels from them and use the wood nickels. Real old timey. It's almost Amish. Not Amish, but kind of fucking Amish. <laughs> I love that. Every, every time. We still go sometimes. It's not like it used to be, but it's cool as fuck. Let's test this bitch out. Damn, I must have some mail on the porch. I get notifications. Let me test this real quick. You guys gonna do this, you're gonna need to get some of these. They're expensive, but they're cool as fuck to have. Put Patreon? What what do you mean? What's a Patreon thing? I don't know what Patreon even means. I'm stupid. I'm open to anything. I'll try anything once, brother. But I legit don't know what you mean by that. Yep. She's at 90. I'm terrible. Oh yeah. Here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna get some of this water out of here. Put some ice back in this bitch and I'm gonna crank that fucking heat wide open. Give me a second, I'll read that. Gallon and a half, that's, or, yeah. I got six good quarts out of this batch. Thought I'd get more, the amount of tails I put in it. 
I thought I'd get more. But it is what it is. I'll take a gallon and a half any day of the week. Sour mash? Shit. I got a donate button now. <laughs> you want to donate? Fucking donate, brother. I appreciate it. More money, any any money I get from here, I'm gonna put back into into shining. That's what that is. Any money I make off of off this YouTube goes right back to it. Goulash. <laughs> you don't like goulash? I'm down with that, bro. Donate. I'm cool with that. I'll, uh, it's gonna go back towards shining. I'll buy shine stuff. I'll buy, you know, anything I make, I'll buy shining tools. I'll test stuff out, show you how it works. And I got, like I said, I got somebody sending me an electric unit. I got another guy building me a, a shotgun condenser. I'm gonna do all that on here. Let me get some ice real quick. Oh shit, I'm dripping water. A quick run of the day. See a difference that Jet Burner makes? Jet Burners are the shit. Now, I got the wrong one. I should have bought a different one, but I got a video about Jet Burner I need to put up. Good dog. <laughs> it's the sugar. It's the sugar and the, the caffeine, Mark. I don't know how to do that, but I ain't got a problem with that. Uh, but yeah. There's a donate button in the top right corner of my, my YouTube channel now. I did that last week. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm cool with that. I got big wishes. I'm saving up money right now to get a bunch of different Tarani syrups so I can try. But I got to make the sugar shine before that. I got a whole barrel for the sugar shine. I'll probably do that in the next couple days. I'm stuck right now in the middle of redoing my living room. So I would have did this the other day, but I, I'm like clean, do a deep cleaning and painting of my living room. Like, you know, like I clean my window, like cleaning up the caulk, you know, I took a damn drill with a, buff and wheel and clean all the caulk out, put new caulk, paint, and all that shit, you know? Scrape my windows for an hour with a razor blade, getting them, like, making them like new, you know? Doing shit like that to my living room, and I'm halfway through it, and I, I worked on it real hard the other day for, for 12 hours straight. And yesterday I took a break, and today I was like, I'm gonna run some moonshine. Tomorrow I'll probably hit the living room. The day after I'll probably make a sugar shine. But she's still good and clear. I'm gonna call that gallon and a half hearts. I'm gonna call everything else tails. Hell yeah. 
Some people just run, fucking drop. Drop. Slow like that. By all means, I don't want the shit last longer than it has to. I'm cranking this heat up. Wait to change this jar. Yeah, man. Like I said, I'm a whore. I even do requests. You pay for something, it'll happen. I, I, I was just talking about going electric. Um, <laughs> yeah, overused, uncleaned out house. I thought about making chitlins, man. And, uh, cause I watched this old lady, she, she made them. There was so much work into it, like, legit. And it seemed like she knew what the fuck she was doing. So, I was like, if I make them, I'm gonna make them like her. And it was a lot of work, and it seems like if I do all that work and I still don't like them, yeah. If I do all that work and still don't like them, dude, I'm gonna be pissed. Hell yeah. I thought about trying them. I've never tried chitlins. I seen, you know, I love Andrew Zimmern. It's on. Really? I don't know nothing about it, but if you guys want to donate, I, I appreciate it. And if you don't, I'm not going to hound you. By all means, if you want to, you know. I mean, the right amount of money, I'll tattoo your name on me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I'm not going to hound you. And like I said, man, I, I, I love this community. And I, I, I appreciate everything you guys. I appreciate your company. I consider you guys fucking pals. Um, I'd like to party with each and every one of you motherfuckers. But by all means, if you want to donate, donate. If you don't, don't. If you donate enough... I'll tattoo your fucking name on my ass. <laughs> and I'll do it with you there. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm like NASCAR. I'm, I won't be the NASCAR of moonshine. I, I wish people would uh, fucking... Yeah, see, she's... I called her right, didn't I? Look at that. She's starting to cloud. What was I saying? Yeah, I wish people would sponsor me. Send me free products to try. Like, why ain't a flavor company sponsoring me? One of these flavor companies, like o -O 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 Flavors or, or fucking Delosi Labs or Watkins. One of them motherfuckers should supply me with every flavoring they got. No, I'll turn it into moonshine. What's up, buddy? I love you. I love you. I love you so much. Oh, don't fall. That's chump. Ah, I'm a zombie. I'm gonna get you. I'll get you, boy. Let's see what's in here. 
Oh, All right, you go, Pepe. Yeah, I'm not. Jimmy Bubble, Rocket Kitchen near. Okay, let's see what Santa Claus sent me. I ordered me some cheese claws. Need some, what's up, brother? Woody! Need some cheese claw. And this looks like uh, paint strainer bags. I'm gonna try them finally. Somebody keeps telling me paint strainer bags. Always, it's probably the same thing they sell at the brew store for a marked up price, but paint strainer bags. Low bag. Low eat a new bag. pack of socks for my son. <laughs> These are for PJ, buddy. Yours ain't came in yet. Why don't you take them in the house for me? Stop it. Take them in the house, put them on a the kitchen table. Stop. Squeeze the grains. Hell yeah, that's a good idea. That's some fucking real hillbilly ingenuity, a mop bucket. It's fucking cranking her down. I have a, uh, I plan on, uh, plan on using. It's a dog! I can't even concentrate with that, dude. <laughs> this shit's killing my brain. I need a drink. <laughs> Plan on, I got this cheese press, right? It's like a bowl. Plan on making some cheeses. I've planned on doing it for a couple years now. I just haven't, I've made it before. I plan on making some videos on some different cheeses. But I got all, I, you know, sidetracked all these different mashes that I got going on and all these moonshine pro projects. But I'd like to make some, some really good cheeses. I'd like to make some more hot sauces too. She's melting now. I gotta drain some of this water real quick. If I get four jars of tails, I'm happy. I'll try and get more, but. Four jar, you know. <clears throat> a gallon of tails is good to have around, dude. It fortifies your run. Fortification. Good to get stickers too. If you're gonna do this shit, get them little round stickers that you could write on. That way you could write on the top of your mason jar lids so you know what the fuck it is. Oh yeah. It might have been you that recommended it. Somebody's like paint strainer bags. So I'm gonna try them out. Put one over my Cause I got, you know, like this nanner mash. This nanner mash probably gonna come through. I'm probably gonna have to put one over top of my fucking, uh, my pom pump when I pump it into my keg. And who knows, I might even end up having to strain it through a cheese ball. I hope I don't have to go that far with it. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you nanners. Whole garage smells like nanners. Every time that thing farts, it's fucking Nana City up in here. Molasses one. 
it wasn't the best tasting thing I ever made, but I think I used too much molasses. I think I should have used some other things. She's got a head on her. Shit. I'm trying to zoom. I got a fish tank aquarium heater in there. But you could smell it. I can tell it's working by the smell. I got a pit. I got a couple dunder buckets around here. Y'all see that video of that drunk ass pig I put on my, uh, I put on a thing? They took that video down because people were like, that's inhumane. Let me fuck that pig got drunk and shit. He was happier than fuck. Do the rum. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably do, uh, I've been saving, whenever I did all them fruity wines, I'd save all the dunder. I'd save all the dunder. I even saved the dunder for my rum. I got the dunder for my rum out there in a fucking big ass bucket. All right, how you been, brother? Um, I got I got the dunder for my rum. I got a dunder bucket from all the wines that I've made. Anything fruity that I liked, I'm like all the yeast. And every once in a while I feed it some. So it's some good wine. Every once in a while I feed it, so, and it's got a different a few different yeast strains in there. There's 71B, there's probably yeast 1118, there's probably some BM 4x4 in there. There's spent fruit from years, from two years, probably two years worth of shit. And I am gonna do a good Jamaican rum with it. What the hell's going on with this? That's badass, dude, I can't wait. Yeah, I'd say Good gallon of tails. So now I got just over three gallons of this liquor from two runs. I, I like. I think that's all right. That's all right output to me. Um, I tell you, the pH of both the Bloody Butcher and Indian Corn was real low. Um, so, it, you know, it took a good week for them to ferment. But I'm going to try this fucking shit here. And see, like, if you did donate, I'm going to buy shit like this to try out constantly. Uh, supercharge your mash with 5.2 pH stabilizer. Uh... Somebody brought some of this to Big Easy's. I think it was Noble. And they tried it out and they said it worked. And then I heard a couple other shiners talk about it on... Uh, talk about it on... Uh, Jesse from Still It. That's that dude uh, from New Zealand, right? He's cool as fuck. I mean, his videos go on a very long time. <laughs> I watched a couple of his videos and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, he talks a lot. Just like uh, the other dude from uh, the old fucking, I call him, I, I think he's like Mr. Wizard. He's uh, he's a Wizard of Oz of Moonshine. What's his fucking name? What's his channel? I like that old old feller. Fuck's his name? Somebody knows him. George, yeah, fucking George. Those fellers go on and on in their videos, like. But I guess that's what YouTube wants. It's not what y'all want. You don't want to watch an hour long. You want to know how to do something. Yeah, barley and hops. I like that old timer too. I like both those guys. Uh, they they go on and on too long and it's like i just want to know one little thing you know because if you haven't made something before 
you want to do research on it. Like, if you haven't, check my temp. Jesse and George, hell yeah. They are cool as fuck. I like them fellers. Um, yeah, I always look at uh, George's... Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I get straight... Because I know people got answers or questions, and I, and I want to answer them. I try not to talk. That's why I go live. I go live and I ramble and fucking say a bunch of shit. We're having a good time. But when I make a video on how to do something straight to it but i'm not saying i'm bad about them it's just there's been moments where i'm fast forward and like god damn george <laughs> love you though george you're cool as fuck you're a very smart motherfucker you like to build nigh science guy of moonshine motherfuckers like wizard of oz huh Yeah, I like that fella from New Zealand too. He's cool as fuck. I think I think we'd have a good time together. Twenty years worth of info crowdsourced on it. What is the HD forum? That's tails. You can see a little bit of oil on top. Go in my next batch. So that's uh, half gallon of tails so far. Where we're at. <clears throat> Proof of that jar is. That is sixty, sixty or seventy. That's on the money, ain't it? <laughs> well, the fucking 60 proof. I called it, didn't I? I'm gonna give this a try on my bloody butcher. Let's see how she is, see how she works. I think it'll be good. I heard good shit about it. But I mean, you can, you know what I mean. You can always use baking soda to bring your pH up. And, you know, you could get a thing of pH strips mailed to you for like a dollar. It's always good to know if you're yeast it and you know, thriving, slow working, and not getting the output you want. You might have a stalled, stalled mash. Might be a pH problem. Normally, my water here I think is a five fucking parts per million. Uh, so. I don't know, but I did have a problem with my Bloody Butcher. I think I didn't put enough sugar in it. I'm not sure. I tried to get 
too much out of the sugar that's in it. I did get some out of it, I just didn't get the output that I wanted, you know? Sometimes you'll have that. Uh, so I'm gonna give her one more try. If she stalls out, it tells me that something's up. I'm gonna put it at 1.090. <laughs> I'm gonna put sugar in it, sour mash it. Well, I guess I don't have no back set. It's still fucking corn sour. It's got a lacto infection. It's gonna be good fucking liquor. The jars I got from the first run was good liquor. I just ain't got the, it ain't rumbling. I like when my yeast is in there, I'm just fucking shit up. I'll put some nutrient in it too. So I'll stabilize it, put yeast nutrient in it, put some new fresh fucking dady that just came. This shit came today. So I know that, that fucking dady's good. Cause I think this dady bag got left open, you know, it's fucking went through weather change. What's up, Clydescope? How you been? Probably better put this shit in the fridge, huh? I'll put one in the fridge. Cause there ain't no way I'm using two big bags of that shit. Real quick. Keep me a bag of yeast in the refrigerator. get more ice. Somebody sing me a song. You're the fucking piano man. You know, when I was looking at that barley and hops, because it's considered making a uh, taking an air conditioner unit and making a cooler, you, you know, so you ain't got to use ice. And I typed that in and he came up. Yeah, I'm well. <laughs> Why you ask? Is it because I was drunker and shit that night? I'm good. My bad for getting that drunk. I had no business on live that fucking drunk. That shit's embarrassing. I'm sorry. But it happens. Especially with me. It fucking happens. It's starting to get chilly now. Sun's starting to go down. I hate winter, dude. Fucking hate winter. Especially in Ohio. <laughs> but it could be worse. <laughs> I could live in fucking up north even further. Hell yeah. Sometimes I get way too drunk. And, and that's when you have trouble deciphering. Like, I need a translator or a babysitter. <clears throat> 
Didn't ruin an anners though. I don't think I needed any. Fu I was just drunker than shit. I don't think I even needed any. Uh, uh, so I don't know. I never made bananas before. I don't think I needed any. Uh, what you call it? Amylase. I hate wearing clothes. <laughs> Take them off. <laughs> Take them motherfuckers off. <laughs> I ain't got no problem with that. I'll wear clothes because you don't want to see this nastiness. <laughs> I even wear a shirt when I go swimming. And people are like, why are you wearing a shirt? I'm like, I'm doing you a fucking favor. <laughs> you don't want to see the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I'm as pale as that motherfucker too. Yeah, I'll take Georgia chili over Ohio chili any day. <laughs> it fucking, it's already snowed here a couple times. And then it gets dark. It's getting dark right now. What the, f I guess it's getting dark there too, but. Man, daylight savings time is fucking scam. We need to do away with that shit. Just takes an hour of your life away every day. Have you? But your purdy. I know. Yeah, we've had snow. It's terrible. Ooh, that motherfucker's hot. That'll warm me up. Let's, let's get close to that. that warm me up. Good. Yeah, it does. I need to turn my heater off out here and let all these fucking fruit flies die. A lot of them have died. But every once in a while, there's still a couple to be swarming. Warm it. I'm warming up like a hobo over a trash can fire. Speaking of which, like my job doing what I do, my business, we got a trash can for having fires because we used to have to work outside quite a bit. We still do sometimes. Uh, it ain't as bad as it used to be. We'd have to be hunkered over that motherfucker, just burning skids all day, warming up. Uh, I got a barrel, burn barrels, what we call it. Ooh. Yeah, you didn't put your bike up last night, dude. Keep that bike put up. Yeah, they do. They do work well. Bro, hold, hold up. Hey, why is your bike somewhere else? You better hope and pray that nothing happened to that bike. You know. If you knew, it wouldn't be there, would it? Put that kid a bike that's old as me almost. It's a $1,500 bicycle. Hey, pay that. I got it for free. What is a GT Dyno from the 90s? You, you know? Thanks, bro. I'll show it to you in a second. I'm warming my hands up right now. He's gonna leave his bike somewhere. Then left it out last night. Get rained on and snowed on. Kick his ass. Tails.
Say one more jar and we're through. Put four jars of tails in it. Getting four jars of tail by, tails back out of it. Hell yeah. A little huffy. Where's my bucket? I gotta grab my bucket real quick. See, when I was a kid, I see this auger in it. I never used one like that. Uh, when I was a kid, I never had a, the bike I wanted, you know? I had a Huffy, cheap ass Huffy. All these other kids, they were riding GTs and mongooses. And, uh, hold on, let me do this. I'll tell you. When I was a kid, I lived in this ghetto. But all my parents were. I had three of them. I had, I had a broken home, you know? Mom and dad split when I was like five. But I always, you know, they, they made sure I had everything I needed. Over in the neighborhood I lived in, there'd always be these rogues, these older kids. They were bike thieves. They'd go over to the better neighborhoods and steal all the rich kids' bikes. They'd ride them through and they'd be like, check out this GT Dino. And I'd be like, that's the baddest bike I've ever seen in my life. I always wanted it, you know? They were four hundred fifty dollar bike back then. You could buy a fucking badass Nova with a three fifty small block in it, you know, for three hundred dollars. You ain't gonna spend four fifty on a fucking bicycle for a kid. Um. So when I was a grown man, I seen that bike, and my stepdad had it. Oh yeah, my stepdad had it, and I, he he put it on fucking on Craigslist. Tear up theirs then. <laughs> Mine apart to rig theirs, hell yeah. Big brothers. <laughs> so I seen it when my boy was like, it's like three or four and I was like, dude, you got a GT Dino? He's like, I found this in this old barn out here. He had it for sale for a hundred bucks. So I was like, don't sell that, I'll give you a hundred bucks. I was like, you have no idea what that bike is worth. And he could have, I mean, shit, I see him for sale sometimes on eBay for 1500 bucks. So I got it, I shined it up, you know, I polished it, I fixed everything up on it, made it like new. And then my boy finally got old enough to ride a bike. I gave it to him and I told him like, look, man, Papa gave me this bike, one, sentimental because of that, he ain't here no more. And two, uh, it's a fucking GT Dino. <laughs> it's old. It's almost as old as me. It's like those bikes come out when I was like ten. So I make sure he takes care of it. And sometimes he fucking don't. And I gotta yell at him. That's that's what that was all about. You gotta take care of your stuff. People that don't never have anything nice. Even if it costs a dollar, you take care of it. I don't know. I guess some shit's cheap. Harbor Freight tools. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> you see Harbor Freight changing now? They're trying to, like, sell, fucking compete with the Walt and shit. And it's like... Try our Hercules brand. It's like, no, I want the Chicago brand, the cheap shit. <clears throat> I want your disposable tools. That's why I'm coming here. Don't take away the disposable ones and then try and sell me some fucking shiny shit that's just as disposable but costs more. The fuck, Harbor Freight? 
sell me that cheap ass orange Chicago shit. And that way if I forget and it gets rained on in my yard, I'll just come buy another one. Okay, so I'm running right now, right? So Hell yeah. Keep that shit original. It's nothing wrong with the way it is, right? Uh, Chevy Vegas badass, so. Told you. Yeah, well, it's better off here where you can keep track of it, buddy. Uh, you make sure it gets in the shed, too. So, I'll run right now, and I just clean this keg and condenser and everything. So I could run, if I spray it out quick, like if, as soon as it cools down, I'll take it apart and I can spray it out, I'm good. And after a couple runs, what I'll do is I'll put salt in the keg. This is just cleaning the keg, okay? I'll put salt in there, a couple gallons of water, I'll turn the jet on, bring that fucker up quick, start boiling. I'll boil for about five or ten minutes, I'll let it cool down. Take it out in the yard, dump it out, spray it out, shake the keg up, dump it out, spray it out, shake the keg up, dump it out. I'll call it clean. That's it. About every third run, I'll do something what I call like uh, cleaning your copper on the inside. What's up, Tim? So when I clean the copper on the inside, what I'll do is I'll put the steel together. <clears throat> but before I do, I'll put a couple gallons of water Put some, uh, no, nah, I just use iodized salt. Iodized salt, it get in there and start boiling and to clean everything. So about every third run, I'll clean the copper and the keg all together. I'll call that a vinegar run or a cleaning run. You keep track of that bike, dude. I will. You got your phone? Yep. Love you. <clears throat> so I'll put some water and vinegar in it. Hook the still all together. I'll run it for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So vinegar steam all over the place. You ain't got to hook your condenser up. I mean, you hook your condenser up, but you don't have to cool it. You don't have to run water through the cooling pipe. You can just let it steam out of the end and it'll throw vinegar steam all over the place. And then I'll take it apart and I'll spray all the, spray it out with a water hose and then I call it clean. I do keep my still polished here lately because I've been taking a lot of pictures and videos because I'm building them and I'm gonna sell them on the website. Like this still I got, it's three stills in one. It's got, I could run it straight arm like this. You know, just straight arm. I could put a, I could put a thumper, I could put thumper jars in between here instead of that bar, run like that. And then I could put a uh, table in between them and I have all the pipes. I got a video I'm making it to, tonight. It's gonna be up. Now I've said that before and held out, but I'm just trying to get it finished right. I think I have everything I need. I gotta finish the website. Um, but there's a thumper keg, it's a pony keg. So it's three different ways you could distill with one keg or one, one still. It's like a transformer call it the uh, Billy Badass of stills. Fucking love it. I love it still. It's a three footer. It's got a three foot lie bag, an inch and a quarter, half inch running through it. Water hose hookups. This motherfucker's badass. I'm proud of it. I love this fucking still. I'm gonna sell them. I'll sell just, and it's uh here. Thumper's uh, second distillation. But not only does it distill twice, clean up your liquor, it also makes it to where you could infuse flavor in the thumper also. What's up, Gary? Good night, mate. So, this has a stand that comes up to help hold the weight of that lie bag. It's a big dog lie bag condenser. Uh, oh yeah, you got to keep them bikes put up, man. 
I've had probably 15 or 20 bikes stolen from me when I was a kid. Got to the point where I just started walking, they stole them so fucking much. But it has a stand, right? But you see, I built that table the other day. And I built all this copper here so I could run and use that pony as a thumper, thump keg. Pull gears. Well, thanks for watching, Josh. Yeah, we always had to bring our bikes inside too, every night. You left it out one night, you got fucking stolen. And that bike right there is sought after. There's people that would fucking... I worry about him riding. I worry about some grown-ass crackhead attacking him because it's such a sought-after bicycle. That fucking original GT Dyno. When he rolls back, back up here, I'll show it to you. Um, I just put new GT tires on it. I spent a hundred and something dollars on the rubber. Put new tubes in it. So I got almost 200 bucks in the fucking wheels on a bicycle, you know what I mean? Just to keep it good. I don't. Uh, Dave, I do not. I probably should. I should probably use it sometime soon, but I'm preoccupied with all this. I, I have, like, I'm on a path, you know what I mean? I know I'm starting to sound like, sound like our whole pres, presidio. <laughs> I'm on a path, taking that path, I'm going down. <laughs> but, yeah, man, um, it just, I haven't eaten, like, I haven't used the bubble plate. And I was glad to get it, happy to use it, ran it once, and I'm straight arming all this corn. Uh, most of the shit I have planned out is straight arm stuff. Now these bananas, I'm thinking about running with my pony thumper. Where, where'd it go? Oh well, you know what a thump keg looks like. Uh, I will have it listed in the next couple days. Um, do you think I need to be on the safe side? 55 gallon stainless steel setup. I think you need to let's see 55 gallons. Just make sure you're full. <laughs> you know, make sure you have a full bottle. Oh shit! I need to. Need to put another jar in here. I don't know. I don't think I need any more liquor out of this. I think I'm gonna call it quits on this. Yep, I'm out of ice. She's low proof, she's cloudy. I'm cutting her down. Cut this tree down. Put a gallon of tails in her. I got a gallon, gallon of tails back. It was a good run. You know what I mean? I'm happy. I've got over three gallons of corn liquor to drink. Of Indian corn liquor, not just corn liquor. Um, but yeah, I... I should probably run that Chinese steel some. A lot of people bought that steel because of me. And uh, a lot of people are rocking it. I'm going to constantly be transitioning. Uh, get you a keg, Dave. They're great. I don't regret upgrading. Not one bit. Um, you can modify that Chinese steel. There's a guy... He, he's got one. He modifies his all the time. He's got fucking shit coming and going everywhere which way. Uh, still liquor. He probably won't ever use it again now. He just got a huge fucking get up from uh, Tennessee Thumper Stills. Or Tennessee, uh, yeah, Tennessee Thumper Stills. The Chinese Stills are cool. They're not the most efficient, you know. Lots of ways for it to leak. Lots of 
places for vapor to escape. But they're a good starter still, straight up. I'm just, I'm all about keg stills right now. And, and you know, that's me. That, that's where I'm at. That's the kind of person I am. I'm going to play with these until I max it out. <clears throat> I'm going to do everything I can with these copper keg stills. Then I'll probably modify them, go electric, play with that for a while. And then I'm going to get save up money and I'm gonna buy me a fucking Mercedes Benz, <laughs> which is a 20 gallon, all copper, fucking big pot like they run on TV. I want one of those motherfuckers and I want it electric. Cause I want to be able to walk away. I want to worry, I don't want to worry about burning my fucking house down, but that's what I'm gonna do eventually. You know, if I lived in a different place, had a different building, it wouldn't be so bad rice is slow they mash rice <laughs> That's slow. Um, speaking of rice I do want to make some sake like make the wine with the the Shanghai yeast balls and then distill it yeah, it is a slow ferment. I call that a win right there, dude. Today was a win. I'm happy with it. It's fucking starting to get dark, so you feel like your day's done, even though you got more hours. <laughs> I like that Indian corn. She's good. She's good liquor. Well, I still got a lot of playing with this. You know what I mean? But I got other kegs. So, and I got uh, my buddy Toxic Water. Uh, he's going to send me this thing he's made. 18 liters on the go as we speak. I got a buddy, his name's Toxic Water. And he designed this thing. And it's, he's fucking brilliant for designing it. I can't, like, he's going to send me one to play with. And it makes it to where you could turn a keg electric without no welding. You ain't got to cut no holes. You ain't got to do none of that shit. I mean, the guys, to think of that... Pretty fucking smart feller. And he's always playing with shit, you know, running stuff on a lathe and things like that. Uh, so probably won't be long. He sends me pictures and tells me like, hey man, I got this done with it. I'm gonna send this to you. So I'll get to play with electric soon, but I'm not gonna switch over completely uh, anytime real soon, but I am gonna, you know, experiment with it. No, I think it's a, a one. It's a 120. Or is it 110? What the fuck? Do I, I always call it one, 120, 110. What, whatever. It's, it's not 220. Uh, it's 110. But I do, in the future, want to get a 20-gallon copper hot plate on a smaller setup. I think it's awesome. Especially if you get something that will work on induction. One of them induction tops? Shit. I made all my wines on them induction tops. They're great. It just won't work with aluminum. <laughs> so if you got an aluminum pan, which you shouldn't be distilling with aluminum. I'm just saying, like, if you have an aluminum pan and you're trying to cook dinner in it, no deal. Not on an induction because it won't work. But I'm sure copper will work on it. More stainless. Yeah, induction's cool. It heats up quicker. Um, less chance to fucking fuck something up. It's more regulated. It's digital. You're like 30 bucks. You could get an induction top. I want to get a little still to, to experiment. And hear me out. Like, you see, you know all these flavors and shit that I infuse moonshine with? They're great. 
they're awesome. Like I've had some that are amazing. Some, some taste like booty, <laughs> but some are fucking great. But there's some flavors out there that I want to infuse that just don't exist. Like, I want to do some weird, I want to get fucking weird with moonshine. Oh yeah. So I want a little small stuff. I don't want to make a 10 gallon batch of something and it come out bad. I feel like that's wasteful and I hate being wasteful. Like, yeah, they're cheap now. Amazon and mail them right to your fucking house. So I want to get a little, maybe two or three gallon still for the stove top and uh, play with it. But I want it to have a thumper for sure. Tell the church you need it. I've seen someone use conduction with copper using a plate in between. Huh. Cherry vanilla, hell yeah. I mean, there's so much stuff I wanna, you guys seen all the weird fucking wines I made, right? <laughs> I ain't wired for 220. <laughs> I got a 220 outlet right here though, so eventually, I want a 20 gallon copper pot, maybe even 25 or 30, but I want a 220, I want a 5,500 watts. I'll plug into this 220 outlet. I'll have it right here on the wall. Larger induction. I'm, yeah, it would be cool if they made, I don't know if they make them bigger, but it'd be cool to have a big fucker, right? Induction top. But I worry about the weight putting the weight on that thing. I like mine's like this. So like, yeah, you might be able to get away with a couple gallons on top of it, but I don't see you running a 10 gallon pot or nothing on top of that motherfucker. But I would like a little stove top still. Um, my dude, Sean said he has one. Dad, I got cut off of the live. Dude. Damn dude, tackle me. <laughs> you better play football. <laughs> You get a little bit older. Um, I love you, buddy. I love you, too. You like being on live, don't you? Yeah. What's your name? Wyatt. What do we call you? Chunky. Chunk. That's my chunky boy. And I have a Bugs Bunny shirt. You have a Bugs Bunny shirt? Yeah. It says... It's the Toon Squad. Really? I'd like to see that. I don't. Big speedy. I've never seen a big induction. Here, you guys want to see the shuffle, the truffle shuffle? Hey, show everybody your chunk. <laughs> That's my boy. Bugs Bunny. Yeah. Under a barrel. Then fifty-five gallon. Uh, thank you. Say thank you, Kaleidoscope. Thank you, Kaleidoscope. She said you're handsome. Hell yeah. That's my Thanks. man. That's my man, Chunk. Kaleidoscope. Kaleidoscope. <laughs> That's my boy. He looks like his papa. I can do what the Henry Stickman does. Rats and dental cats this. You dancing for everybody? Yeah. Do you want to have your stick and dance? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Goonies. <laughs> this dude's crazy. That's a good movie to watch with the kids. I ain't seen that movie in years. I'm about to get these these kids on it. Get out of there. Get out of there, boy. Hug. That's, that's a family movie night. Next, Kaleidoscope, we're watching Goonies. I'm about to do that here in just a minute. I force my kids to watch old movies with me. I'm a bad parent. But they're always like, once once they get into it, they're like, eh. 
We watched Little Hop Sh Little Shop of Horrors last week because he, he loves uh, the plants that eat people. Because <laughs> uh, there's a video game called Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, it's a cool-ass game to play with your kids. I was making the noise of a chomper. A chomper, yeah. They got a plant on there called a chomper. It looks like <laughs> looks like the plant. Uh, don't do that again, okay? All right, you go in the house. I'm shutting her down. I'm coming in. I'm going to cook dinner, and then uh, we'll, we'll watch a movie. Can, oh, we um. add, can I get a sweet, by the way? If you eat all your supper. What supper? Your dinner. I'm gonna make you dinner, and if you eat it all, you can. You, we'll get you something sweet. Okay. And Go on. I'm one, Dad. Yeah, Sandlot's a good one. Uh, Dad, do you wanna know what? What's I it called? Like Stand by me. Sick dad. balls, chopper. Yeah, they love it though. Like make them watch Beetlejuice, stuff like that. That's the shit. I'm about to get off here, y'all. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out with me. I've been on here for 207 minutes. Hello. That's how long. Hello. It, if anybody's me. wondering. Hello, it's me. That's how long it takes to run a 10-gallon mash. Hey, live. All right, buddy. at my school named Mauricio who said something funny. And <laughs> Go on. This. I'm coming in. Hello. I'm trying me. to say goodbye. All right, so uh, 207 minutes is how long it takes to run 10 gallon mash through a keg still with a jet burner properly, most of the way properly. <laughs> you guys take care. I'll, I'll see you later. I might get on tomorrow or something. We'll see what's up.